Hey everyone, I'm Aniela McGinnis and welcome to My Breast Choice. This is my first video back after finishing cancer. So I thought what a better way to start back again than by looking at that first moment when I found out I had cancer. The phone call from my doctor. Sorry, they did come back positive for cancer. Oh goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay, um... Based on what we're talking about, this is probably going to have to accelerate within terms with, you, you know, uh, your plans with the mastectomy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Given the fact that this is so small, as long as your margins are negative after it's done, after the mastectomy is done, then you probably wouldn't need any radiation or anything additional. Okay. So the only additional steps from a surgical point of view, they will do a sentinel lymph node biopsy at the time of the mastectomy just to make sure that nothing has spread to the lymph nodes. Okay. All right. And um, so I'm on Thursday, so we'll have these results. Okay. Okay. Okay, and he will go over all the options with you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then this is going to be a good time to get this done? Yes, definitely. Huh. All right, thank you so much yeah, for calling me. Yeah, surprising. Yeah, we didn't expect something that small to be to be anything, but fortunately it is that small. Yeah. That's why the MRI is so important. We couldn't have seen this on a mammogram. Yeah, and I know I didn't feel it at all, so I'm glad. Yeah, and we don't know about chemo. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, with chemo, we still need to see what, because we still do have these receptors. Okay. I don't know how much you know about breast cancer, but breast cancers do have different types of receptors. Okay. Do you know anything about that? Uh, not really. <laughs> so it's kind of like giving breast cancers different last names. Mm -hmm. Okay, and according to the last name, that also determines what aggressive or how aggressive or non-aggressive they may be. Okay. And uh, certain types of last names absolutely require chemotherapy. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to call me. Will do. And let me know if you need anything, okay? Will do. Thank you so much. All I appreciate right. it. All right. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Oh gosh, well I can say I didn't expect that result. Hard to watch that, but knowing how that chapter ends makes it a little easier. And it also shows how important early detection is. My mother died of cancer the year before I got diagnosed. She had ovarian cancer and I had breast cancer, estrogen, progesterone positive, HER2 negative, stage one ductal cancer. And that actually this video um, of me finding out was shot three days before I had a scheduled appointment uh, with a surgeon to plan my preventative mastectomy, and I was three days shy. So, shows you how important early detection is. I was so grateful to have recorded this, because a lot of times we, in life, uh, have moments where you replay it over and over in your head, and the moment warps, and it becomes worse than it really is, and that was this. This moment, two days later in my head, was a death sentence. And once I sat down and started editing and realized, um, and was able to listen to what the doctor said, it, it changed so much my perspective. Tremendously. If this video did inspire you, please share it with your friends and family, uh, the women in your life who need to go get mammograms done or the men in your life. Uh, men can get breast cancer as well. 
If you like this also, please subscribe. I am, um, I plan on putting one of these out every week with tips that I learned from cancer and fun ways to style your hair after cancer and all kinds of fun, random cancer, positive, body positive things. So please subscribe. I'm gonna keep rambling while you subscribe to force you to subscribe. So if you also like just wanna get your fill on this, I Instagram uh, the entire time I had cancer and before, but with cancer, I was really, really open. So you can go to Instagram at G and you will find a lot of insight to what cancer is like with a little twist of humor, as well as facebook.com backslash my breast choice. I also am blogging about all the stuff and I go more into depth beyond just the videos. And you can go to mybreastchoiceshow.com and if this tremendously inspired you. I have a GoFundMe to make the documentary on my one woman show, but incorporating all these videos. And it is gofundme.com backslash my breast choice. All of the links will be in the description of this video. And a special thanks to Tony Rivera and Stefan Duncan. Stefan Duncan did the voiceover for the doctor so that I could allow my doctor privacy. And Tony edited it. Edited it. Um, he was also the co-writer and director of my show. So thank you so much. And if you like this, please thumbs up. Here is cancer. So give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much. And tune back in for all new videos.